hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm bringing you another gem from the middle east this is called a teak from the house of janae janae sayed perfumes they make some really beautiful perfumes i've reviewed one of their fragrances Mwata Daha. yes i've tried the one for women and the one for men uh, they're pretty much similar but the one for the guys is more linear and then a tad bit more spicy and the one for the women leans more towards Casablanca beautiful fragrances I'll link the the review down there so that if you haven't seen it already check it out I don't think I reviewed the one for men but I may have made a post about it on my Instagram before someone gra grabbed it and bought it for me so I'd, I'll leave the link as well now to the fragrance that has brought me here today this is Atik I ordered it and got it this evening I really want to sniff it, but I wanted to do that on camera. So here it goes nothing. You know, the funny thing is, when I actually saw this fragrance, uh, I saw it on uh, Fragrantica, and I think I saw it somewhere. Or was I just looking for Junaid perfumes? Yes, so you, you know in, on Fragrantica, when you go down there, you see like other perfumes in the line. And then I tapped on it. I just saw Vanilla Cedar, and I just, pew, I just clicked, and I ordered it later i realized in fact just this evening when i received it, i was going to check on it again and i realized it was for men however some of the reviews said it's unisex and then i mean vanilla sweet cedar i mean what could probably go wrong so there's how it looks like pretty masculine bottle if you ask me from the pictures i saw i thought it was opaque but it's quite translucent i mean i can see through it so I don't know if you're getting that, but I can see through it. It's a pretty classy, simple bottle. Plain. The cup is plastic, but it looks wooden. Here goes. Okay. okay. Oh, come on. This is unisex. I like it. I mean, I see how this is labeled as for men, but and I think it's a perfectly unisex fragrance, like they said. I, at least with the opening that I've done now. Mm. The opening has the vanilla all right, but then you can't miss. This is unmistakably very woody very woody it has this almost it's not herbal but almost herbal and then it has that um coca-cola-ish vibe that pure excess has i mean it's not full on like that it's not as sweet as that is but then i get that you know coca-cola vibes here oh this is nice this is really nice this is very very nice i think if you like fragrances like um Paco Rabanne's one million if you're a man that likes sweet fragrances you'd love this it's not as sweet as those but then yeah hmm. yeah the vibe is definitely there it's nice it's, it's really nice but i th i think i understand why it is marketed for men okay it had this masculine woodsy vibe very witty honestly i would totally wear this it's me <laughs> i'll totally wear this and i know i'm gonna kind of compliment with this but i think if a man wears this he's gonna get even more compliments i mean so if you're a lover boy if you like fragrances like stronger with you by Giorgio armani if you like fragrances like Paco Rabanne's One Million, Pure Excess, you know, if you're the sweet scent kind of guy, this is perfect for you. I have this guy at work who loves vanilla fragrances. I think he's the one that bought the Mata the Hap for men. You would absolutely love this. I'm going to put a note on the screen. I mean, this is a first impression. So I don't want to bore you. I can't lie and say last like that, that, that. This is the first time. Honestly, I've read about it, but this is the first time I'm trying it and I do like it. Like I said and it's giving me low-key um mercedes vibes too you know those kind of fragrances like 
you know, DNG the one. I'm not saying it smells like them, but I mean, you know, like there is this group of really sweet masculine fragrances, you know, for the sweet tooth, the lava boys, the playboys, you know, eros, that kind of vibe. Yeah, I feel like this would be a fantastic date night scent because it is cozy and warm. I would definitely hug this. This would be perfect for date nights. It's really, there is something very comforting about the scent. Like I said, perfectly unisex, but if I should smell cinnamon, like, it's giving, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's giving. It's really, I can't stop sniffing my arm. So I think if you're a man and you should wear this, this how, you know, this is the kind of reaction you're gonna get. People can stop sniffing you and it'll be perfect for a hug. Hmm, very interesting. I'm definitely ordering a few more bottles from Janae. They have some beautiful fragrances. I think I already have a couple in my cart and I'll definitely bring them to you. There are some two I'm look really looking forward to. Just wait for my <laughs> review when it arrives. So that's my first impressions on Atik by Janae. This is beautiful. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next review. Bye. Oh, it's nice.